Hi there, I'm Mickey McMonagall from the Sunday Mail and welcome back to my green room where I have a new couch. Kicking off this week, I'm going to tell you about Nicolas Cage's new movie, Knowing. You may well have seen the trailer, and if not, don't worry, because I'm going to show it to you in just a second. In the film, Cage plays a man who cracks this bizarre code, which contains the dates of every major disaster of the last 50 years. There are three dates remaining, and he sets out to stop the disasters and figure out what's going to happen when the codes come to an end. It's a good film. It does get a wee bit silly at the end when it answers too many of its own questions, but it's worth seeing for those spectacular action scenes. Here's the clip. The numbers are a warning. They're a warning to everyone. This is not a test. This is an emergency broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air for as long as possible. If you want to stay home and watch a movie this week, I recommend you go for Lakeview Terrace. It stars Samuel L. Jackson as a racist, bitter old cop, struggling to deal with the fact that his new young neighbours are a mixed-race couple. Few actors do simmering rage better than Jackson, and in this, he's great for the role. However, it isn't really anything new. It does get a wee bit over the top towards the end, but it's a good enough way to pass a few hours. I just don't think it's one you'll want to watch time and time again. Here's the clip. Whatever it is about us that bothers you, we got to figure out a way to deal with this. Or what? I got lights. Okay. Now's the time to get out. They'll be gone before you know it. What the hell are you doing? You didn't ask my permission to plant these trees. Come on over. Let's do something. Get off my property. <laughs> we'll call the cops. I'll tell you who's on duty. Moving on, I've got a couple of great music recommendations for you this week. First of all, a single. It's the return of Just Jack with the brilliant Embers. I loved his debut single, Stars in the Rise, but he kind of faded a wee bit after that. He's going to be back on the climb with this great new track. If the rest of the album's anything like this, he's on a winner. Here's a clip. The album I want you to go and buy this week is Dave Pierce's Trance Anthems 2009. Dangerous Dave may not be the world's coolest DJ, but he sure can pick a great trance tune. Three CDs of brilliant music from over the years, great memories for me, great new music for younger viewers. Here's an example. If you fancy checking out some live music this week, there's actually not that much on for once. But I have managed to find something for you. Jack Pignati is at King Tut's on Friday, April the 3rd. I'm not actually the world's biggest fan myself, but I know lots of people are. So there you go. Here he is in action. That's it for another week. I'll be back here in the green room next time with my brand new couch for more of the same. I'll see you then.